I am just so, so disappointed in this lid. So before I get more, more negative about how uh, much I hate this thing, um, a few positives. I, I got a new member of the family. So I'll quickly show you uh, that. Not fish tank related, but I'm very excited about it. Fish tank's going great. Everything's encrusting well. I haven't lost anything. Everything's great. So at the end of the video, I'll do a, a nice walk around with some music, all that stuff. But let's get into this uh, really bad issue. So as you can see, a fish tank and a newborn wasn't enough for me. I went and got a puppy. Gucci. Don't we love her? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Hello novice reef keepers, how are you today? Today I want to talk about my lid from top lids. It's been this issue started probably at the second week mark. I realized that there, this was defected. Um, I did contact the top lids um, company, um, which they were wonderfully helpful, but um, weren't willing to take back the lid for repair due to um, their words, um, not being a repairable item. Um, so what's happened is, I'll show you, bring the camera forward and I'll show you, but the UV paint, which I was shocked to find out first that it was paint, um, that gives the glow has already faded. Now it was explained to me after the fact, so after I ordered the lid, it was explained to me that they expected only the paint to last 12 months. Now, for a lid that cost me $1,000 AUD, including shipping, I was actually expecting a UV reflectant acrylic, um, or at least a paint that was sealed. Now, this was not sealed. It was totally open to all the elements. So as you can imagine, water did get up into the lid, did get into the UV paint. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if it melted and it went in the tank or it just uh, dissolved and disappeared but it now is patchy um, I'm very very disappointed in this lid to be honest with you while the, the, the workmanship and the building um, is terrific uh, the UV paint being faded and tattered has left this looking aged and old um, and it's the most disappointing thing that I have on my tank at the moment um, I look at it every day and I'm just upset. While I did contact the Top Lids team, they did provide me a $35 refund for that part, the cost of the UV paint. But now my lid looks like it's 12 or 24 months old as my lights come on to show you. Uh, it's under a month old and to be honest with you, I wanted to send it back, which they don't accept returns. Um, I went on their website, so I didn't bring that up. I saw on their returns that their return policy, they do not accept returns. Uh, but none of this was disclosed in the build. Uh, the excuses that were given to me was that it was a new supplier that provided them the paint and that supplier did promise them on a five year guarantee. Uh, that obviously wasn't the case. There was other complaints um, about the same time. We were obviously the first to receive this. Um, mine lasted two weeks, apparently the others lasted six to 12 months, um, but it just happened to apparently become apparent um, when I came up with my complaints. Um, so let's jump in. Um, I'll show you with the, with the tank on and the problem and you can have a look. Um, sorry, so apparently because the amount of light I'm running on this tank being SPS dominant, the amount of UV that I'm running um, is the reason why this deterioration happened in two weeks and not 12 months, but all in all, none of that was disclosed to me. Personally, when I was buying it as a customer, I paid 100% for this lid, like I said, $1,000 AUD. Um, my impression was that the UV was forever lasting or at least, you know, somewhat natural wear and tear like you know I do I don't expect that the acrylic won't get stained or or scratched um, but I don't expect in two weeks or even 12 months really to be acceptable that it's just gonna deteriorate because they've used a cheap paint on such a high priced item so here it is guys as you can see I don't know if you look back on my first video it's much more uh, 
darker, I mean lighter. Um, there is places that still have the UV paint, but once we get in, you can see how much it's dissolving. Obviously, where there's less light, it's better. But as we go around, have a look at this. It just, oops, getting there, it absolutely disappears to the point where there is no more UV paint. Check this out. Not a speck left throughout here. So what I got is instead of it all being disappeared, is I've got it in the grooves, so it looks tattered, it looks ugly, it looks messy. <sighs> I am just so, so disappointed in this lid. And to be honest with you, I would beware if you're buying this lid that this is an issue with the UV paint. Um, only the UV paint, the light, the unit is great, the edging's great, the lid's great, but I would not get the UV paint and I would double check everything. I mean everything. I am just so disappointed in this this lid. I just do you ever buy something and then you wished like you could just get you know just throw it out?